It's not hard to see why the gods of Norse mythology were represented as powerful women who were capable of fighting, raiding, and ransacking with the same ferocity as the men. They were all highly revered, from Freya, the goddess of love and sex, beauty, fertility, and war, to the Valkyries. We have talked a lot about male Viking warriors so far, but today we will be talking about the most famous female Vikings, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. There are quite a few famous female Vikings of that era, but today we'll be talking about three of the most legendary female Vikings. Lagertha We know about the fabled female Viking Lagertha, or Lagerda, thanks to Saxo Grammaticus's Gesta Denorum. This magnificent lady was a member of a larger group of female warriors who volunteered to aid the famed hero Ragnar Lothbrok in his quest to avenge the death of his grandfather. She charged into combat and massacred plenty of opponents, resulting in a decisive win. Lothbrok was fascinated with her because of her remarkable abilities and unwavering fortitude, and he decided to make her his new wife. Due to Lagertha's strength and determination, she declined his offer and instead sought to keep Lothbrok at bay by putting a bear and a dog in front of her house. Unfortunately, her defense failed since she ended up marrying Lothbrok later. Sigrid tossed a daughter. Sigrid, also known as Sigrid the Proud, was the wife of Eric the Victorious, the Swedish king. When he died, she opted to govern alone rather than marry again to assure a new king for the country. Both Harald Grensky of Norway and Visivald of the Kievan Rus Vikings courted Sigrid. Instead of relinquishing her control, she called both men to her hall, intoxicated them, and then set fire to the building while they were still inside. This, it seems, was to discourage any possible suitors. Nonetheless, she later married Sven Forkbeard to gain more connections and authority. She used him to seek revenge on Olaf Tryggvason, who had publicly slapped her for refusing to convert to Christianity. She was able to coordinate the Battle of Svolder, which resulted in the death of Olaf. Freydis Eric's daughter, the most famous legendary Viking warrior, has been mentioned in countless historical chronicles, so we have kept the best for last. Eric's daughter, unlike Shield Maiden Lagertha, took up the position of a female Viking warrior on her own. When the Vikings arrived in Vinland, now known as the eastern coast of North America, they swiftly fled from a group of furious locals, and Eric's daughter was supposed to battle with other male warriors. This was not an option that rang true for Eric's daughter. Rather, legends say she took a weapon from one of her slain friends, ripped open her top, and challenged the irate locals to a fight. The indigenous people, stunned and possibly intimidated by this audacious plan, rapidly fled, and Eric's daughter was proclaimed victorious. So we will end our video here. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Please like and subscribe to the Vikings channel because we will be providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and we will see you in the next one.